Hold on. Five, four. Are we ready? Yeah, we're good. And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome here. Think I'm Kevin on stage. Cheese. That chick ain't it. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Bang, 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 uh, Josh is gonna put a little up for the regular YouTube people. Welcome y'all too, man. If you're in LA, Jim pops up. in here. No, no, no. I mean after this. After. Oh, well, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. They're watching this though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jim pops watching. Okay, okay. Welcome uh, to our show. If you're in LA, pull up to Cavon Stage and Friends this Monday. Uh, still tickets available. Um, and then I'll start promoting the live version shortly after that. Angel, what you got going on in your live? Um, obviously shirts. Friend of the pod, still on sale. They only on sale until this Wednesday, the 22nd. You can go to shopmamalikes.com and click on podcast merch. The shirts are going away forever after this, so forever. don't miss out. Yeah. Also, uh, come September. Come September. If you out in the Arlington, Texas uh, area, or you can fly your butt out there, I will be... Speaking at Women Evolve. Wow. You better go and preach. Uh, I'm going to preach a word. Yeah. Are you performing one margarita? Yes. Give me one, Savior. And that's where the stopping of the counting stops. Because I only need one. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So I'll be on the main stage. Do you, at, did you have your scripture ready? Oh, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to listen. They're going to be like, we didn't call you here to preach. But Woman, I am. You can't stand still. You got to evolve. You used to be a monkey. <laughs> now walk on two feet. <laughs> used to be a monkey. <laughs> it's that's the important part because the anointing is only there if you do that. Oh, monkey. Used to be a monkey. <laughs> is Evangelist Mama Dorothy going to go with you? Uh, no, she is not. I'm going to scream out, she came from my vagina. No. Why Take a picture of my vagina. <laughs> Why are you preaching? <laughs> Uh, but no, it'll be a good time. I was I was cracking up when I saw the announcement because I said, "Who do they think I am?" When you have me after the Pris Priscilla Shriver, who she's the only woman that makes me want to do better in life. She preached good. She prayed good. She had a movie about praying good. Oh yeah, I know. But she be make that she's only it's the only time that I be reflective of my actions is when she talks. Everybody really? else, I'll be like, "Shut up!" And they're Priscilla like, "Angel." I'd be like, you right. I should do better in the things that I do in life. What'd you say that said, Lord? <laughs> Tell me again. Because you you know God. You know him. And then Viola Davis was at the end of it. It was like. They Viola announced, Davis going to be at the Evolve? Yes. Oh, my. The Viola and that chick Angel. We're going to be at the Evolve to go. Do a TikTok with her where y'all do the Annalise Keating walk. <laughs> to me and Daughter Baby. I you know I make it. So, yeah, y'all can come to the conference. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, it'll be a good time. Absolutely. All right. So my wife sent me this this morning. I had not seen this until this morning. Uh, Jasmine Crockett uh, confronts Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yes, she did. In the uh, in a in a session they were in, and it was an episode of Roast Me. Also, America is not a serious place, uh, but the black woman here grew up with cousins. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to this here for four minutes and twenty one seconds. Mr. Chair, point of order. It's me. Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built bush body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? Uh, uh what now? <laughs> Chairman, I make, a, I make a motion to strike those words. I don't, I don't think that's Come a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion to strike those words. I have no idea words. what you just said. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys, so what made this happen is Marjorie Green said this. You said she was responding to this. Yeah, it wasn't in there like I thought. Hold on, it's it's in there backwards. It's in there backwards. Yeah. Well, you the one talking about. I, I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, I ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. That's what set her up. 
Mm-hmm. Your like fake a, eyelashes. Your fi- fake eyelashes probably doesn't allow you to really know what's going on. And then when she got hit with that bleach blonde, bad built butch body, <laughs> we're not supposed to be hitting cast <laughs> white woman one on one. Yeah. Y'all always want to start something, then you didn't know you was going to hit with the six piece alliteration. Yeah. Alliteration is great for roasting. Uh-huh. And that rolled off the tongue. Easily. Your bleach bond, bleach, bleach blonde, bond, bad built, butch body. body. Now, if I was to, now she didn't say that. Yeah. She said if I was, was to say, say that, that would be engaging in personalities, right? The, the problem is, is she should have known when she saw her eyelashes that that's the type of shit. That could come off. That come with them lashes. That come with the lashes. That's good lash behavior. Yeah, yeah. Because when you put your lashes on, you take time. Mm-hmm. You you gotta you gotta set aside extra time. Mm-hmm. That means you have extra time. Exactly. And I got time for you. I got time for you. I'm gonna gather you today. Get your uh-huh. bleach blonde, <laughs> bad built, <laughs> butch by. If I I love the if I were Work, to say that. Yes. I'm that would be engaging you. in personalities. <laughs> I'm going to say it beside you. Could have said it to you right here. Could have said it to you. Because I just want to know the rules. Yeah. I just want to know what rules we're playing by. Right. Because you know that's not, we're not supposed to be doing that. Yeah. But if if you said it's okay for her, then it yeah. must be okay for me to right. say bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. Yeah, that must be cool. Must be okay. Yeah. The white man saying, huh, what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I didn't understand. It was <laughs> it was very Forrest Gump. Yeah, what? what was this? She said the the, the bleach blonde, <laughs> bad built. Yeah. Butch, butch body. body. What is Who it? was that in reference to? <laughs> oh, okay. Marjorie no. Taylor Green. What was, he talk- was she talking about you, Mark? <laughs> Who was she talking about? Who was the bleach blonde, bad built? Now, what is bad built? Yes. Oh, the way she shaked. Yeah. Okay. Understand. Okay. Understand. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I said, Got America, it. we're not for real. No. We are not serious. This is as a developed nation. <laughs> we are not for real. No, we are a reality show that is just we are it's the, like tenth season where they're just struggling to come up man, with storylines. The, the the presidential uh, inauguration is nothing but the reunion episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of the of the four, our season's going four. Yeah. Right, right now, Trump storyline. This man is legitimately on trial and still leading in the polls. We are not for real. If America wasn't America, America would invade America to protect democracy. Yeah. We are not for real at all. I just be looking and I be like, why y'all don't expect me to be serious if we not? These are elected officials. Right, right, right. There are so many causes to fight right now that I'm just like, and I'm fat too? Uh, What do you expect of me (laughs) as a person? We gotta, we gotta free Palestine. We gotta free the Congo and Sudan. Then we got, to, we have an election this year for a president and that is nobody, currently on trial. <laughs> and nobody paying attention to it. We got people talking about eyelashes as elected officials. Man, <laughs> we got, we got men in women's uteruses being like, you know what, you shouldn't be able to do this with your own body. I, and then I got to know everybody's pronoun too. And it's too much for me. There's a TikToker. Um, oh, I think her name is Anaya. Oh, I'm old up in my age. Is it Anaya? She had a like, man, if, if it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't. Okay, Anaya Kashi. Mm-hmm. Cash, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not pinned. But she was talking about how many things we have to remember. Yes. And it's just, it's so many. It's a lot. And I think for our age, a, a lot of the changes have happened. Well, yeah. no, my mother is probably even worse, but I think people people give the old, old folk just a little bit of a pass. But our age, we're supposed to be on, like, understanding what progress has happened and, like, what movements we should be a part of. But it's a it's a what to remember. It's a whole what. And you got your own life, too. Oh, I think that's what a lot of people don't. This is the reason why I be tapping out. I be like, I got four kids that I want to make sure have some semblance of happiness in their life. Right. <laughs> so let me tap out right here. Let me tap out. And let me, you know what? Because Amar doesn't care. Amar is waiting for the next puppy. Listen. And that right now is more the dog point. at? Listen, he drew a picture of me and him. And um, I know it's me because he drew me with red hair. He drew a little heart over us. And then there was a dog in a picture. And I said, 
who is that? Because <laughs> I was like, did you see Lottie's remains? What is this dog? I said, is this Lottie or he the new remembers. puppy? I said, no, I said, is this Lottie or the new puppy? He said, no, the new puppy. I said, oh, okay. okay. I said, yeah, oh, I said, Lottie came to me last <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. I said, and his head just turns around. Ah, Pet <laughs> Cemetery yes, 4. I tell you. All right, anyway, shout out to um, Jasmine Cro- Crockett. Um, yeah. It was great. Also, big news in the world of sports. I don't know if you heard. Number one golfer in the world, Scotty Scheffler. Free Scotty. Arrested. 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 After all the things he's done at the Masters and on the golf course. On the golf course. <laughs> arrested. He's been on a run. You just yeah. had that baby? I don't oh, know he had a baby. Yeah. That's why I, I was watching his golf. swing. Uh, you know, I played golf on my vacation. I was watching his swing, and he... He was going through all his different uh, clubs, and uh-huh. he was guesstimating, and he was within the three numbers. yards of how much he was going to hit with that club. You were studying him, I so was you could. Him. So this you was could, after. Oh, okay. You know, because once you go do something, your phone like, do you like this? You like I, it? I, I can show you, you everything I ever that ever happened about this. Yeah. But anyway, he tried to go around a police officer. It was and a fatal accident. Fatal accident. Oh, Rest in peace to that man's family. He was he was uh, struck by a bus. Oof. which they had had um, the, the police were there and there was like additional security there because they have a, is it the, is it the PJ? What's it? It's not the masters. It's a PJ it? championships. PJ championship. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say the PJ tour. In Louisville. Valhalla. Louisville, That's Kentucky. your people, Kentucky. Uh, so anyway, um, the police officer told him to stop. Apparently he tried to go around. He said he was unclear on the directions. They arrested that man and he was released in time to make his tea time. And got a birdie on the first hole. Eh, Did he? Oh, yeah. He's, I mean, he is literally the number one golfer in the world. This is how black people are finding out Tiger's not number one anymore. I mean, I was, oh, yeah. They're listen. like, who, Tiger got arrested. He's still making tea time? Tiger's, Tiger's there. Really, he just, he just. Nah, Tiger ain't been Tiger oh. since that window, since that woman went Jasmine Sullivan on them windows. Oh. Yeah, he's just, I'm just. He, and he hurt his back. Well, Two. And it's like, apparently in the PGA Tour, I didn't know this until I was talking to Chance. PGA Tour, you can't use golf carts. No, you can't. You, you have to walk. Yeah, you got a bad back. Yuck. That is, I was when I played chance. I did eighteen mile, eighteen holes, holes. with chance. Oh, yeah. It's about five and a half miles, and that was with a cart. That oh, I was you doing. Get, if you're walking, you get steps in without a cart or with the cart. You still get some steps in. Five right. and a half miles with the cart. I know. Especially because the way I play golf, most of it's walking this uh, way right. and that way to pick I up my ball. I can't believe y'all didn't play uh, best. We played best ball the second half of the first day and then the second. He still day. found his ball to to pick up to. Still got to go get it. Oh, no. Listen, Angel, well, I lost about 20 Angel balls. Angel hit one. She's like, goodbye. Yeah. yeah. She was like, all right. It was good seeing you, girl. <laughs> also, your girl, Caitlin Clark. I watched her first two games. Uh, Why the is Sky. Because you're our sports analyst. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. The Sky. Uh, I've been trying to catch out, uh, catch Angel Reese's games, but they, them Indiana Fever games is on TV. Mm-hmm. Them Sky games, they, they not. They took them away. I don't have all the channels. The Them Fever games been on ESPN, and I think the last one was on Prime Video. Now, if y'all watched the last the the last game Caitlin played against South Carolina, how they deed her up, that's how every possession has been mm-hmm. in the WNBA. Mm-hmm. These girls are pros. Mm-hmm. And I think people thought she was going to come in and drop 40 and drop 40. She hit 20 points in her first game. Mm-hmm. Last night she had two. She had 10 turnovers in her first game and like six last night. Listen, I think she'll get better. This is her first, I mean, this is the first week of her first season. Yeah. However, comma, she was a big fish in a a smaller growing pond. Now she is regular fish yes. in a pond of big ass Here's Vicious. what a lot of people don't understand about the WNBA and why it's so competitive. There are 12 teams in the WNBA. I think there's 28 teams in the NBA, if I'm not mistaken. 26, 28, I believe Yeah, that's it's about 28. Yeah. Can you imagine how competitive the NBA or the NFL or Major League, any of these pro teams, if, were if they less, only were 12 yeah. teams? Yeah. And I think the WNBA rosters are 12 teams 12 roster spots correct also <laughs> though to be fair i got a feeling these other players aren't playing regular regular defense on her though they they got her number i don't even i i, I agree with you but mm-hmm. i don't even think it's that i think if you only have 12 teams and 12 players whoever's guarding you is good 
And they no, also I, go. They I also agree, heard what you, you said for I, sure. For sure, they, 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 they definitely turn it up a little bit. Well, yeah, because they got something to prove. Because everybody's like, "Oh, she's about to be right. the basically the great they white hope." They were like, "Okay, yes, she can play, but so is everybody who's already here." Listen, I was reading about this in the WNBA. It is very common that their lottery picks, first round draft picks, don't even be in the league after two, three years. Mm-hmm. That's not common in the NBA, one, for guaranteed contracts, and two, because there's more teams, more roster spots, more players. But the WNBA, you, you could be going number three and, and, and not playing in two or three years, period. Sometimes out the league. That's very uncommon in the NBA, also because you have invested a lot of money. But uh, Angel Reese has been playing well. Cameron Brink has been playing well. I've been checking the box score on everybody. Angel uh-huh. Reese give you about 10 and, 10 and 6, 10 and 8. Uh-huh. But I think Caitlin Clark probably has the most pressure mm-hmm. to to – to score. Oh, absolutely. Then of of all the rookies. One, I, I I definitely see that I don't feel no ways bad for her. Mm-hmm. It's only going to eventually make her a better player. Yeah, I think she will. And people, yeah, I, I agree. I have no doubt she will adjust. But I never thought she was going to be, I was going to I should say, I was going to be really surprised she was going to come in cooking. But let me tell you who be hooping. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've been watching the Macy's games. Her? I got to get me another jersey. You got to get another one? That girl, Asia Wilson, got a beautiful game to watch. Mm -hmm. She give you inside, outside. She give you three. I can't wait to see you in the shoes. I hope they make big (laughs) men's. Big men's. Also, all right, moving on. Now, this story was just funny. This dad, (laughs) he jumped the father of a girl who was bullying his seven-year-old daughter. Mm. Was he wrong? Let's discuss. Here's the video. Brothers jump her daddy out to school. I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. But we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. So <laughs> well, the big question was, was he wrong? Now listen. Tell me what you think, Kevin. Here, here's the thing. What's up, guys? <laughs> you, you were watching the bonus. You were. But listen, y'all. Angel's a creator. YouTube ain't YouTube and know what the it, way you. It YouTube. sure ain't. No, it, listen, you I checked should. my stuff. I said, my God, today. And they were like, you got two pennies for this video. Bruh. I was like, well, thank you. Thank podcast you. ain't podcasting, so we, uh, we, we, the rest is on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Please join us if you can. If yeah. you can't, watch what you can for free. Yeah, there's more there, but if you ain't got it or you don't want it, it's our responsibility to tell you. But and here's the thing: just join it for us. The content is great. Oh yeah, you're paying five dollars to get extra content. You get an yeah. extra episode of Here's the Thing. Yeah, you got other things. You got Here's the Thing reacts. Good times. You got Ask Kev revamped. We got all kind of stuff. So bring your bring your what over here. Bring your rump. All right, peace. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.